NorCal Karting Vlog. I'm here to show you what we take to the track. Before we get started, I want to give a shout out to NorCal Carters. They're going to have me on a podcast today. Um, is it going to be the, well, when you're seeing this, it's going to be today. Check it out. It's going to be before this. You'll probably go back to it. But um, yeah, if you don't see the NorCal Carters podcast before this, go check that out. It's going to be how to get into karting. Um, it's going to be a little bit of my backstory about how the racing bug bit me and um, about how you can start racing as well. Um, like I said, this channel is going to be for that. Let's get into racing. Let's get you into racing. You know, first step is get you a cart. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Get you a cart um, and get out there. Uh, the help will follow any help you need. Um, so that being said, anything else that you don't see on here that you would like to see, please comment, let me know. Um, I'm going to be putting this out weekly. This is going to be a weekly series for you guys. So if there's no racing, I'm sorry, there's no racing, but you'll have something. I will show you guys something. I will help, help out with some kind of tips or something like this week. We were supposed to have a race out at Prairie city, but, uh, because it was scheduled on Easter, we, they, uh, decided to reschedule that. So that's cool. Everybody got to spend time with their families today and, um, they rescheduled it to yesterday, Saturday, but it, the rain did not let us race. So, um, that's okay. It gives us a shot to show you guys what we take to the track. So yeah, go check out NorCal Carter's podcast check out their youtube channel they'll have a whole bunch of how-to videos of how to do specific tasks with these uh carts um it's a great channel and uh also like subscribe and share all right got the cart pulled out here we got everything set up just for you guys so like i said this is something how you'll usually see a setup at the track this is what you can expect to bring out um you know this this will definitely get you through the day and get you through any minor repairs um that you're gonna if you need to do at the track yourself so we'll start out from left to right i got rags here um a funnel and a measuring cup for your oil 15 fluid ounces so that's a good uh, it's called a ratio cup if you're looking for it. It's got regular grease. Um, yeah, nice clean rags, dirty rags. Zip ties. Zip ties are your best friend. Get those. We got chain lube, brake fluid, brake cleaner. We got regular lubricant for the bearings. Glass cleaner. It's pretty good for cleaning uh, rubber. The scuff marks and stuff off. Uh, oil, engine oil, change that often. Used oil, be responsible, please. Um, let's, we got this, this dealio here, that is for 87 only. Uh, what is it, two, I don't know, 10 liters? 10 liters, something like that, I'm not sure. Usually on a weekend, I probably use maybe five. Gosh, I want to say up to here about $15 in gas at $6 a gallon. So three gallons or so, not too much. Air compressor, air hose, and then, um, yeah, now we're getting into the tools. So not too many hand tools. I mean, it's all kind of spread out, so it looks a little intimidating, but... It's for clarification, so in case you guys don't have any of these, you can go pick these up, and I promise you, you will have a pretty competent day at the track if you need to fix anything. So, needle nose pliers, we have vice grips, electrical tape. Um, this I use for a breaker bar, um, just to get more angle on, you know, like right there. <laughs> Channel locks. Blind and pliers, side cutters, um, knife, regular carpenter's knife, um, also called or um, number eight, six, five, and four Allen wrenches. 
Uh, get the T-handle ones. I like the T-handle ones. You can put um, a lot of grip, a lot of force on them and, uh, and get them in tighter spots. I have multiple of the same wrenches here. These are all 13s. It's good to have multiple wrenches. Um, I'm always pulling a 13 or a 10 out. Those are the two that I'm always pulling out. That's just about it. Um, so I got an eight thrown in there, you know, and I set up open end wrenches, um, the, you know, assorted sockets, a spark plug socket. This is not the right one. Here we go. This is the one right there. You'll see it has a, uh, where, where am I? I don't, I don't even know where I'm at. It has a rubber gasket down in there to protect the porcelain on the plug. So ratchet. Um, regular screwdrivers. This is for tuning your your carburetor. Impact driver or rattle gun with the uh, three eighths whoa, adapter on there for your sockets. Got that little extension for that. That's cool to have. Hammer attitude adjuster good to have air pressure gauge um yeah your your air chuck that kind of goes with the air compressor stuff notebook and a pen write stuff down make a list of the parts you need make a list of the stuff you learned um make you know for instance let's just let's just go through this weight distribution settings I mean, I kind of started going through this and using it almost as like a driver's journal as well. You know, trying no bar, no push, uh, just flow and plant. And, you know, how did that come out? You know, this is how it came out. This is this is what I'm working on. These are my times, you know, yada, yada, yada. It really helps you not chase your tail because if you start making, if you start, you know, changing something and you don't keep it the same, you... you I mean, you don't write it down and you don't keep up with your changes. You, you have no idea where you're at. So get a book, start writing stuff down. This is actually um, kind of a logistics note, you know, of where to park at this track. There's, there's just all kinds of notes you can take. Um, that, and this is, this is a driving note, you know, right here. I, I got to back that thing off right there. So it's just, uh, it's really good. Really, really good to have a notebook. And we'll move into over here. I got a bag for all the extra parts, spacers. And, and you know, these aren't parts that I, I started with. These are parts that I ended up taking off or buying because I needed, you know, this was, we needed to put weight on it. And you'll, you'll develop your own set of <laughs> spare extra parts that are starting to come pile up to you. Um... A hardware kit these are neat from Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever nice little organizer they're great they're great for just all the little hardware stuff because you're gonna start collecting this these little odd and end bits that are you know you gotta you gotta keep track of all this stuff so that's one of the best ways to do it these are bent but we hammered oh well, that might be a new one uh, there's the old one. It's, good. Uh, it's just good to keep, you know, keep organized, keep everything, keep track of everything. And that's it. And then that, that, that is not much. All this and the cart and the cart stand. So there it is. Not much at all. You can see the trailers empty. And that's it. Simple. You know, get yourself a cart. Um, there's any questions that you ever have out at a track, there's everybody is there helping everybody. Don't ever be afraid to approach and ask um, at the track, in the pits. Um, on, on grid, I've had people help me out um, in the last, last minute, last minute rush. Uh, yeah, get yourself a cart. Right there, you need one of them. Just get one and come on out. This is Michael Walden from Michael Walden Racing with the NorCal Karting Vlog. And uh, I'll catch you on the grid.